ladies and gentlemen, and today we're going to go old school for this album reveal. We're going way back to 1993 and the Smashing Pumpkins, Siamese Dream. Now, Smashing Pumpkins are kind of one of my favorite bands. They're one of the bands that I listen to every now and then. I listen to the shit out of Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. Great album. Two disc set. It was just great, great album. Siamese Dream is a great album as well. It's got, it's, it's a great album. Smashing Pumpkins are just they're legendary, right? They were they were the founders of alternative rock, or at least they weren't the founders of alternative rock. They were the ones that got alternative rock on the radio, or as kids these days call it, indie music, or whatever the fuck you call it nowadays. But either way, these guys were the ones that started the whole adult alternative scene. Um, Billy Corgan is probably the only he's he's you know people like his voice, they don't like his voice. I like his voice personally. I think he's awesome. I love the bass, the guitar, the drums. I love how they put everything together we're at sometimes where it's just want to bang your head rock and roll to a nice relaxing smoothing rock and you know no better than it is on set Siamese Dreams there's a course Chair Brock for those of you who don't know anything about music go ahead and listen to Chair Brock it's a, it's a great song Um, then there's today. Which is quite possibly one of my favorite Smash of Pumpkins songs ever, and probably one of the goodest, goodest, <laughs> one of the best songs on this album. Um, and a couple other of the deep tracks are like Disarm, um, Geek USA, or Soma Geek USA, my bad, and Mayonnaise. I mean, those are some of the deep tracks, but I, I highly, if you want to go old school and learn a thing or two about the 90s, or just in, want to enjoy the Smashing Pumpkins in general, I suggest you listen to this entire album. It's a good album. Very, very good album. It's back in the days before they had autotune. Back in the days before you had fucking computers that would make, you know, either, I, I don't want to get on that, I don't want to get on a tangent, but either way, this was old school rock, back in the 90s, 90s wasn't, you know, 90s, I could go on another tangent about the 90s, but either way, the Smashing Pumpkins were a great band, Sammy's Dream is definitely a good band, I'll give this album a 10 out of 10, because it's a good album, one of my, one of my personal favorites, I mean, it's not, my, you know, it's definitely in my top 10 favorite bands, but uh, I highly suggest you check out Smashing Pumpkins if you don't know who they are. I'm sure most of you people know who the Smashing Pumpkins are. If not, check them out, please. Uh, so yeah, that was Smashing Pumpkins, Simon Stream, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great album. Check it out. It's it, you won't be sorry. It'll, it'll be worth your listening to. Um, if there is a band or an artist that you want me to review. Uh, write down in the comments. I'll go out buy the artist or the the band or whatever, and I will reveal the album. Um, Smash pumpkins, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> so with that said, we'll all see you in the next video. So long, and thanks for all the fish.